Jai from WP Johnny, I'm back again with the second video reviewing different WordPress Gutenberg block libraries. So this is where the fun begins. This is the real deal. This is where we get to see the future of WordPress. So there are many of you that are afraid to move to Gutenberg blocks because you don't believe that they can look nice or look as fancy as a page builder. Or, or be as easy to use or that it's a learning curve or some of you just hate things that are different and you're used to what you're used to. So I'm here to show you what I think is definitely the future of WordPress. In fact, it's already the current of WordPress and is being developed, it's rapidly evolving. I'm gonna show you the top five Gutenberg, um, what I call these are pre-styled Gutenberg block libraries. So before I was reviewing minimal block libraries, which is the ones that were like very unstyled, uh, very unstyled kind of plain. Uh, they were meant for developers to, to code their own styling on top of. These right here, out of the box, they come with a lot of style. They look polished. There's tons of widget options. These are like very direct page builder replacements. You will feel like you have a page builder um, inside Gutenberg. So let's get start with, uh, let's start off with number one, Cubely. So this is, um, man, what an incredible plugin. I can't believe all this stuff is free. And it's so lightweight, it's so clean. Let me show you the demo right here. So this is their demo. Uh, this is all like the different blocks that they have. And oh man, where's, where's all the page where they, they because I, I just wanna see, okay. So they have things like this. You can do an image, you know, like before, after thing on your site. Like it's crazy, right? If maybe you got a home interior design business or maybe you're selling dresses or Whatever, whatever product, I, I don't know. That, that's up to your imagination. They've got countdowns, okay? How cool is that, right? This is like a total like page builder thing, right? Some of you guys install a page builder just for the countdown. Well, you don't have to do it. And as you can see, look at this. It's very styled, right? It's not plain and dry looking out of the box, okay? And they've got many different templates for it. Oh yeah, that's another thing about these pre-styled uh, Gutenberg block library plugins, they have templates that you can install that have everything colored and styled and laid out for you. So you don't actually have to build from scratch. You can just pick a template and work off of that. Look, they've got the timeline. This is so cool. Um, there was another one on here that I thought was unique and uh, not found in many, many other plugins. Okay, they got the video pop-up thing. This is cool, right? Little video pops up. So I love this because I think this makes your site so much faster than when you don't have the video automatically loading, right? Just show the image and then it only loads when you click play. Uh, what else I got? Progress bar. Okay, again, these are like very page builder-ish things that, that people install a super bloated page builder for and you don't have to do it. Oh yeah, I think they got sliders and carousels and whatnot. We're gonna go, we're gonna play with it. Look at this. This is so awesome. This is beautiful work right? All in Gutenberg, all super lightweight, clean. Okay, post carousel. I think I'd, I don't need to show you this, but you know, so things like that. Now I've already done, um, I've already made my own, uh, my own super ugly uh, cubely page. Here it is. I'll show you the back end, right? So I'm, I'm just messing around with different options here. We got price lists. There you go, right? So for menus or like these kind of price blocks, I wanna see the pricing tables. I hope that's in here somewhere. Okay, so that, that's not in here, but you can. I saw it in the templates earlier. So I did something like this. It's all really ugly. Okay, oh yeah, that, this was a pre-layout pre design uh, that they had. And let me show you all the different, <laughs> I've got a million. I promise you it won't look like this when you have it. Uh, this is just me messing with it. So this is really, really cool. Look at all these templates and styles and you know and some of them are pretty sexy uh okay so right so you're not starting from scratch so guys you want the page builder in gutenberg you can you can have it uh, it looks just as good just as polished let me show you a few of the block options in cubely row icon accordion so um like i said this the, i think this is a, a really great balance you have everything that you need to make most sites and, and it looks great out of the box, right? So it's already pre-styled and everything. Okay, there you go, there's a pricing table and then I'm sure, see over here, you can style and pick, you know, all to your heart's content. And then I believe they, they have a pro version that has even more and allows you to do more things. 
So Cubely is great is by far, uh, well, maybe not by far, but it's, it's, I think an easy, clear number one choice for me because it has extra widgets that other uh, Gutenberg block libraries do not have. All right, so let's just close this one out. Let's keep this moving. We're on to the next. Okay, second place. Man, I'm so sad. This, this is disrespect. Stackable. Stackable is, <laughs> is awesome. It looks so nice. It looks so polished. Uh, let me, let me, where is it? Where is it? There's a live demo. So I'm just going to go here and ch -ch -ch, click this here. All right. So they have a live demo. So you can see uh, it, it looks very polished out of the box, right? I, I love their design work and everything. Now, um, if I go to their website, because I want to show you that, you know, I, I want everybody to do this. Oh, come on. Hmm. If you go to their community showcase, I think some of the ones at the very bottom were, were really impressive uh, for me, like this one right here, uh, this one, this one, this one. So I'm just gonna pop them open and just run through real quick because I think they're they're worth a look, okay? So, um, all right, maybe, maybe not that one so much, right? But look at this, this is cool. And yeah, I checked the source code and everything. It, it really is, it was built in stackable, right? Um, and of course, it's the skill the designer as well. Okay, I'm just gonna click on different things here. And so, and then I'm gonna click on different things here. Yeah, this is this was made on Stackable. And then, oh, look at this, man! This is crazy talk, crazy time, man! All right. So, and this is off of Gutenberg blocks. So all you guys are saying that Gutenberg blocks can't beat a page builder and this and that. Yes, it can. Um, I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna close it. Let me show you my ugly version, right? I didn't take the time to really build everything out. And ch -ch -ch, let me show you real quick. Okay, so I uh, see I built a few blocks. Then let me show you the back end. So let me show you the available blocks real quick. Where is it stackable? I love the logo. Um, there you go. All the typical usual things. Um, now, uh, let me show you this here. This is their design library and they've got a lot of sexy stuff too. So if you, you know, if, like I said, you don't want to build from scratch, you want to build a header, you can pick from here. Okay. Or you maybe you got your header, you got that figured out, but you just want a grid of stuff or you want a price box pricing box so they've got a million options and then yes as you can see uh, they have the premium so some of them you got to pay for it uh, but I think it's totally worth it now so stackable looks so great like why didn't I put it as number one and uh, it was man it was really hard going back and forth between stackable and cubely I felt uh, cubely gave you a few extra plugins that stackable didn't have like the timeline and um, there was a few other ones. I have it listed. This will it'll all be in, in a written review. So, um, yeah, so it has a timeline, uh, image comparison. Uh, wait, well, video pop-up, that's wrong because Stackable does have that. So I, I felt Cubely had the edge and just having a few more extra. But, you know, if you don't use those extras, Stackable looks just as nice. I, man, it's awesome. It, it's incredible. It's, those two are head-to-head -head the top two. Okay. Now coming down to number three, and don't get me wrong, this is also a pretty good one. So it's called uh, Gutentor, Gutentor uh, is the name. And let me see if they got the demo library, and then let me pull up, let me pull up my, uh, my nasty, I think it's this one right here. I, I wish they called it, wait, you know what, maybe, maybe it's called Oh, sorry, it's called Gutenberg Blocks. This is a wrong, this is something else. It's called Gutenberg Blocks. Hmm. Whoops, I opened two edit screens. So, yeah, same kind of deal. You've got templates that you can uh, install from scratch, right? You don't have to start from scratch. I mean, you can install a, a pre-built template. And then you've also got uh, many different little block features so let me see if i can get to their block demo oh you have to choose one by one but so they've got all the different blocks uh and then he, okay so let me go to their layout let me get here 
Sorry, guys. So they have a counter. They have an image. Though. There was an options for text up here. I just didn't use it. Uh, they have different layouts. Actually, I think this is from Atomic Blocks. That's not from Gutentil. This is Gutentil. Okay. And let me show you the different block options. So, you know, don't, don't use the quality of my crappy design to judge them, okay? Just... So, I think they've got, like, a ton of different blocks. Um, and it's organized into different, you know, elements, modules, posts, widgets. I kind of like that. Maybe some of you will hate it. You'll feel like, oh, it's cluttering my, my Gutenberg editor list, right? So you, and you can disable these, by the way, if you, if you think it's too many. So, they've got tons of block options. And then they also have the uh, template importer i think is it this one i think it's this one or maybe maybe it's this one. Oh wait no no it's this one. Oh, oh boy what did i press uh, i must have oh i see that says export oh okay here here there's the g okay so this is theirs right same kind of deal um they're a little more dry these are a little more dry they don't look as polished as say uh cubely and 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 stackable but i think they're still nice and i think they're still very usable and the, hey the whole thing is free you know and then just style it right so rely on your own skills okay that was my number three choice now coming on to uh coming on to number four close this out number four I, was that croco blocks co-blocks co-blocks by godaddy this is incredible. Uh, I think this is maybe the first time in history that GoDaddy has ever done anything that, that I approve of, that I liked. So here it is. Very simple, very clean, very developer friendly. I love the vibe. I love, love, love the vibe, um, as you can see. Oh, okay, so they acquired it, so they bought it. So, so Coblox was built by somebody else, acquired by GoDaddy. Okay, that makes more sense. I feel better about myself now. Um, let's go here view there and we edit in the back so there's a front what i really liked was like this shape divider that was a lot of fun oh that's an accordion and then this is like image and text right being stuck in there so i really liked it i think it was like a perfect balance if you wanted something minimal but like still just a little bit of styling right you don't want to be totally dry i think code blocks is a really great option um, and i know in the genesis group a lot of the developers there liked it as well so it's a nice mix food and drink so you can see I think these are like price and menu stuff um, here we have where is it oh boy oh we're at the very bottom okay so different layouts and then different widgets and things um, oh just that's cool post carousel stack something services hero so I liked it I, I think it was really cool um, I think you know it just doesn't have I believe it doesn't have a uh, uh, templates like pre-built templates let me check yep yep yeah so it doesn't have templates but I think it's a really you know it's it's a really nice one I, I, I really enjoyed it a lot and if you don't want something style then code blocks is for you okay the last one and also it just it's last because the others are so great but it doesn't mean that this one can't be equally good I can definitely see people who like this one uh, just as much or if not more than the others so it's uh where's the freaking demo link man it's called get with and i can't find well too bad too bad well you're just gonna have to look at my ugly demo so get with here's the front end here's back end view same thing counters images with text i think I believe this was like a carousel yeah i switched to put a meme in there um, see so different like cool like mouse over effects different layouts ah okay I remember this one now all right I'm gonna show you the different block options where is it where is it I believe oh I, I remember now this one's is it called get with I have a feeling it's called something else how frustrating guys <laughs> I wish these plugins would stop doing that I know why they, they want to call themselves Gutenberg blocks because they think they're gonna show up higher in the in the search but it's actually very annoying 
Okay, there it is. All right, so usual stuff, right? Uh, all the usual stuff. It does have content timeline, accordions, uh, different kinds of boxes and widgets and things. And so it's fine. It just has a whole bunch of different widgets, uh, not so much like layout related stuff. For the layout related stuff, you'd be importing from their design library, which is this one right here. So uh, it, it was fewer options and they're not as like organized as, as say some of the other ones. But hey, it's a free plugin. There's still plenty of options. And you know, like I said, I just use the regular grid and container to do everything, right? So even this is, is more than what I need. Um, so that's it, that's the top five. I recommend that you definitely play with the top two for sure. Check out Cubely and Stackable. See what you can do. I think you guys are going to be very impressed. And I'm sure, you know, they've only been around for like, what, a few months? I don't know how long they've been launched for. But I'm sure in the future, these guys are going to be rivaling page builders. I'm sure it's going to be, their pro versions will be out of this world. And again, they are, as, as with all the functionality that these, these plugins have, it's still so much lighter than a page builder. Okay, I have like 10 of them installed right now. And I'm gonna to go to my front end, actually here, let me log out of this. And I'm gonna to go to the front end for you. And oh boy, can I even get to, all right, well here's one of the pages, but even on the front end with like 10 Gutenberg block libraries installed, okay, the CSS is still pretty light. Like, look at this, that's it, that's all we got. This is uh, here, I'm, I'm put it in order, the heaviest ones on top. The heaviest ones are only, right? If you add all the heavy ones together, maybe 100 kilobytes, that's it. That's 10 libraries. You only need maybe one or two libraries. This is all the JS, that's it. So these are super lightweight. Um, so enjoy, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Visit my website for the full write-up and let me know what you guys think. There are some other ones that I re reviewed on there as well. So maybe if you are curious about one that I didn't cover in this video, I probably already wrote about it in the review. Okay, see you guys next time.